manager John Lambie pledged at the start of the season that no matter who the opposition, his side would always have a go. And yesterday, against league leaders Rangers, the Jags did just that. With 11 minutes gone, George Shaw gathered Willie Jemison's pass, ignored the appeals for offside and raced in and goal to beat Andy Gorham and give the home side the ideal start. Thistle could well have been two up in 23 minutes. Ian Cameron's header finding Davy Irons, but the chance thrown away. Three minutes later, Rangers were on level terms. Stuart McCall gathered on the left, looked up and sent over a cross, which was met by Dave McPherson, whose header beat Nelson. 1-1, and that's how it stood at the break. The half-time scoreline was a fair reflection of the first 45 minutes play, but five minutes into the second half, Rangers took the lead. Stuart McCall in inspirational form starting the move and finishing it. A rare goal for the midfielder, but one worth waiting for. The re-established durant McCoy's partnership almost produced a third for Rangers, but Craig Nelson denied them. And Nelson again thwarted the Ibrox side after some superb skills from Alexei Mikhailichenko. Thistle was still hanging on, and Ian Cameron's long-range effort had Andy Gorham at full stretch. But Rangers stepped up a gear and went 3-1 ahead after 65 minutes, skipper Richard Goff showing some fine control before fighting the ball into the Thistle net. But the best goal was saved till last. Mark Haithley, who'd just replaced Haustra, made an immediate impact, heading clear from his own area, beating Irons in the tackle, and catching Nelson off his line and unawares. For what must surely be one of the most extraordinary goals this season. As I remember the ball just came into the box or something or other, headed it clear and kept chasing it. And uh, fortunately it broke for me. And just sort of keep her slightly to one side and just, just hit it and hoped it. When you did hit it, did you reckon it was going to go in? Um, I had a, a fair chance it was going in because I struck it well as soon as I struck it. And it had a fair, fair bit of bend on it. And we was saying before the game to, to, to Andy when we was warming up, we said, a bounce, a bounce in front of the keeper today will jump, jump up. And fortunately for me, it did jump up. How does that rate among the Hatley best? Uh, they're all good.